Welcome back to Poor Man Printing, guys. And today is going to be exciting. We're going to talk about Frank Kozak and Kid Robot. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Let's get into this, dude. Guys, guys, I'm telling you today, I, I am excited. I am excited to show you what we have today. I'm not going to lie. But first, before we get into all that, beer of the day. <laughs> Ice cream. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, guys, beer of the day is Viva La Beaver. Belching Beaver. I have reviewed Belgian Beaver before, but this is Viva La Beaver. It's kind of a Mexican brand, and I, 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 I've had a rough day at work, so I can't wait to try this freaking beer. So here's the website. We are on Belgian Beaver Bury website, and let's go find that beer, guys. Scrolling on down. I'm going to try every one of their beers. I really am. I mean, they, they got some freaking cool ass beer. There's the Belgian Beaver Blonde. There's the Belgian Beaver Milk Stout Peanut Butter. And there it is, guys. Viva La Beaver. So Viva La Beaver is loaded with notes of creamy peanut butter, cinnamon, and coffee. This decadent milk stout is the perfect dessert beer to finish off your meal and is our highest rating beer, receiving numerous gold and silver medals. Sink your teeth into this liquid chocolate treat. Yeah, buddy. I mean, look, 2019 Japan Bureau's Cup, uh, 2019 Gold Craft Bureau's Cup. So this beer has 7.5% alcohol. Perfect for a hot day like it was today. So yeah, let's pour. Oh, buddy. Look at that. Look at, look at, look at that. I got a big beer. I ain't gonna lie. I can't fit it all in the cup. So y'all ready? Let's do it. Oh my god, that's good. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, the chocolate, the coffee, the cinnamon in this beer. Yeah, so I mean, right now it's this number one beer of the month. Special Beaver last month was number one. This one is gonna be really really hard to top this beer i mean you can taste the cinnamon i mean it's just so smooth mm. dude go buy this go buy it i'm just telling you right now i don't waste too much time in this let's let's get into this let's let's check out what we got here fellas so for starters here we have a tweet so for starters right here guys vivi light uh frank kozak's uh a tweet right here he's showing you he little smoking Bunny rabbits here, it looks like. I'm not sure what they really are. I mean, it's pretty cool, though. Frank Kozak, rumor is VD collectible soon. And then David Hughes tweeted, Powerful, you have become. VV is where I sent you. Boom. Okay, okay, that's one. That's one, right? All right, let's move on. Now, let's go to VV's Twitter page right here, guys. If you notice something a little strange, they're following 83. I know what they're supposed to be following. I check it all the time. Now watch. <gasps> what bam? What is that? Frank Kozak? Right here, guys. Bam. Let's follow him. Okay. Now let's go back. Now look at this. Kid Robot. Yes. Kid Robot is a manufacturer of toys and all kind of collectibles. So I think they go hand to hand together with Frank, right? We're gonna follow them. Let's just check out Frank. Who is Frank? What has Frank done? What's he painted? Has he made toys? What has he done? Oh look, it says check out my NFTs on Open Seas. Let's just check it out and see what it is, right? I'm like, oh, that is cool, right? Comic book uh, posters going on here. The Night Nurse. I mean. You got this uh, smooth trooper right here. I mean, he's selling stuff on open seas, guys. And I love the way he makes the comic posters. I love that kind of stuff. Right? 
Got a lot of stuff going on here, guys. A lot of stuff. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go. Let's just look up Frank. Who is Frank? Well, this is Frank. <laughs> History. Kozik has worked with Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, Stone Temple Pilots. What? What? Come on now. The Red Hot Chili Peppers. Dude, Melvins. I don't know who they are. Let's check them out. 883. Okay, I probably heard their music. I just, I don't follow music that much. The Offspring, which these are all the people I used to listen to back in the day, guys. Butthole Surfers. I don't know who that is. 1981. I'm about to check them out. Kozak used to run Man's Ruin Records, a media outlet and record label, and has published several books, including Man's Ruin, Poster, and Art by Frank. Frank is huge. Huge, guys. Huge. So where does that tie into, say, Kid Robot? Oh, that's cool. So let's just go check out Kid Robot here. And I got the website pulled up right here. So this is Kid Robot, guys. They make some cool-looking collectible and toys, I'm guessing. Which I'm pretty sure they're all collectibles. A toy is a collectible, right, guys? I'm like, okay, so how does that tie into Frank? I mean, where's Frank's stuff at? Okay, guys. I got to pull it up right here. This is Frank Kozik's uh, Kid Robot page here. So I'm guessing he has made this stuff right here. And this is the kind of stuff that we could be seeing in the Vivi app. Which I believe uh, Kyle says something about this that uh, Vivi actually liked this or something. I was looking at this video today. And uh, yeah, I, I got a feeling we're going to see some of this kind of stuff. Now, I don't know if Frank made all of this, but yeah i think so it's kozak stuff yeah let's see if we can yeah, all frank kozak okay so frank did make all this stuff right here so this is the kind of stuff we're gonna be looking forward to in the vb app which is pretty cool and if they make some of the uh 2d nirvana posters and stuff like that man i'm going for that i'm gonna tell you that it would would that not be cool to have in the vb verse like Heavy metal band sitting in the VV verse. I mean, come on, guys. Good God. Dang, that's a high price bad boy right there. $999.99. Frank stuff ain't cheap, fellas. It ain't cheap. So, yeah, we're going to be looking forward to Mr. Frank and Kid Robot coming to VV. Yep. All right, so I want to show you this right here, too. Right here, guys. So. Hikomi retweeted this 13 hours ago. We can't wait to see the Ecto-1 hit VV Collectibles. So, could this be another upcoming NFT? Because uh, we haven't had a car in a while. So, yeah, it could be. Maybe not this week. Or maybe this week. I don't really know. They've talked about multiple drops, right? But, yeah, I mean, if they drop this, you know how i'm big on cards right y'all know this so i'm definitely going for this right here there's no joke about it i am going for it so let's look at these tweets here we're back on ron english here okay guys so right here so it says uh i'm going to try to get two sets let me find it right here okay uh it will be possible to get two ultra rares from the drop or secondary market last time was hard for me that's what nft collections said to david Yu, and david Yu replied and said i will need to see what limit we're putting this set my understanding is it's a lower edition run but we can't go too extreme low we know the number of the collectors will want a complete set of 12 eventually complete set of 12 uh, talking about the serial killers right now so let's look at this right here let me go ahead and zoom it in y'all can see this thing so david you also replies to uh nft collecting so we're only getting four from the set and david you replied and said i think there is 12 plus one secret rare or 11 plus one this will come out every month the whole set will complete a picture of the last fat breakfast ron's original image so it's looking like they will be dropping four each month four nfts of ron english serial killers so you're looking at like three months to get the complete set which i like that because they're not going to be cheap i read somewhere earlier that 
they could be around $39, you know, or, you know, 59 for the ultra rare or 69. I'm not sure. Yeah. So that's what we're going to be looking at. And if y'all are wondering if I can bring this up here, right here is the Ron English, uh, last fat breakfast. I mean, you're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 right here. But he said 11 plus one or 12 plus one. 11 plus one or 12 plus one so we could most probably see this guy this guy right here cocoa puff punch this guy right here so he 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 might be the missing piece i'm not 100 percent sure but that's what i'm thinking so yeah that's pretty much what i got for you today guys take a look at that that token let me refresh yeah here we go so OMI is looking right now at, uh, it took a dump. Yeah, it took a dump. Double zero, two, one. I don't know what happened there. Whales dumping. People get un impatient. I mean, they just sell. That's how that it is. It doesn't bother me none. I've told y'all that in the last video. They go, oh, we should have stayed in it when it skyrockets. I'm telling you that right now. Not financial advice, of course. That's what I brought you today. So uh, I can't wait to see <laughs> VV, VV stepping it up. They're stepping it up. And I love the artist alley. I mean, their stuff is going to be tight. And I can't wait for the VB verse. But hey, hold tight, guys. Hold on. We're about to go for a ride. This poor man printing. Er